Hello YouTubers, welcome to Blue Creek Acres, uh, the hydroponic lettuce house. I've had a lot of questions, um, if you could share and re-like, if you could like and reshare, that'd be great. Um, subscribe. We've had quite a few questions, uh, Here's this is what we do, um, if you have a smaller system or a bigger system, everything's different, but I wanted to give you a, just a quick rundown about our stock tank, uh, the pump, and the nutrients, the fertilizer, and the testers that we use. We, we use, uh, let's start with the stock tank. Our stock tank, well, it's 100 gallons. Um, a lot of people use 50 gallons. If you have smaller systems, you can use even smaller. You know, it just, it doesn't, it just depends on how much lettuce you're gonna grow. Um, we're using uh, 100 gallons because we like a little extra airflow. Um, plus if we leave for a day, you know, you can fill it up. You don't have to worry about it. We've got a air pump that pumps with a couple air stones in there to give even more oxygen. So, you know, that's, that's huge on how fast it grows. Um, so we have this big stock tank, you know, you can use any, like I said, but the pump we use is a pond pump, just one of those pond pumps that pumps up. They have a bunch of different sizes, 200, 300. We're using 600 gallons and it's doing a 10 by 20 um, rack system with about 600 plants and you could uh, easily um, double this or even triple it and still get the same same uh, outcome it's just beautiful um, the proofs in the lettuce <laughs> let's see here uh, in the water I wanted to say we've got 600 plant site right here and we filled this up and it's been in here about a week we just refill on it today and so that's 50, about 50 gallons we put in. So 50 gallons for a week on 600 heads of lettuce and you know Swiss chard and kale and Asian cabbage and bok choy, beet greens. But uh, in the ground, it would be about six to 700 gallons a day in the soil. So I just wanted to point that out. It's 90% you know, water, saves 90%. So that's all I wanted to say about those two things. Um, like I said, it's just a quick video to show you how we do it. <clears throat> we use this Maxi Grow. I don't know if you see that? We had an issue a few years back where um, some nutrients don't have a lot of calcium, so they start to turn yellow and uh, just they don't get the right amount of calcium intake because they grow too fast, especially in the summertime. So we found this works real great. Um, let me see here. Off we get open. Right here. It's just a, you know, solution that mixes right in, fertilizer right into your uh, water. It's a nitrogen, um, potash, you know, calcium, phosphate. And then what you do is your water checks at uh, 100 ppms just from the tap. You're checking the electric conductivity of your water. It tells you how much uh, nutrients and feed that you, you know that you're putting in. Um, through the summertime, we go, we it varies for us. From you can use an EC or PPM tester. This is twenty five bucks. That's like three hundred bucks. Um, we go our PPMs are uh, and the ECs for electric conductivity. We go through about five hundred to seven hundred in the summertime. We we want to have a lot of nutrients. Yeah, uh, you know they eat a lot, so we keep it about seven hundred and everything's perfect. Um, then we check the pH right here. Comes out a little over seven, and we like to keep it just a little less. And you can keep it at seven; it's fine. But we like to go just a little bit less, like you know, six seventy or something like that. This is just a pH tester, twenty-five bucks. Real simple. It's just like keeping a fish tank, pretty much, except for you just you know your your nutrients, your feed. The one thing that we do that seems to work pretty good is. Uh, we use this enzyme cleaner, it's a natural uh, cleanser, just cleans your water. Yeah, it keeps everything just running beautiful as we're growing water because, you know, we don't want any pesticides or herbicides. We just want everything, you know, as natural as we can get it, as clean as we can get it. So everything's cleaned and that's how that's done. I mean, it's real simple. You just put in how much, you keep checking it. You do it every time you fill your water. Um, if you have any more questions, you know, and I'll show you right here. 
this is the outcome right here right there proofs in the lettuce right there blue creek acres if you like subscribe reshare thank you very much take care